Hey, what's up y'all? Q here. I need to get this off my chest, right? So I grew up playing Mario Party, specifically Mario Party 3, with friends. But only recently I've truly discovered something, and that's how insanely busted the reverse mushroom is. So this item is not a rare item, but a common one. Can single-handedly flip games in your favor if you're in the right position. And above all else, it only costs 5 coins at Baby Bowser's shop. I completely understand why this item never came back in future titles, because it was just too much. In Chili Waters, next to the right gate, there's a boo right there. You can reverse into the boo, bounce off the gate, to then hit boo again. Then afterwards, reposition yourself so then your next turn, you walk past boo a third time, all with just one reverse mushroom. If a player just left the icy area in Chili Waters, you could potentially screw them over by using a reverse mushroom on them, forcing them to go back to the area and possibly Break the ice. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Though, with that being said, you could accidentally set them up for a big power play with the amount of directions that become available going back to this area. So, just be very mindful of that. In Spiny Desert, you can reverse mushroom into the action time event, purposely miss the first cacti, to then go up and pay Boo a visit. Roll high enough, you could possibly bounce off the gate to hit Boo twice in the same turn. In Waluigi's Island, you normally have to do the action event to get off the Dynamite Island, but it's mostly random due to how fast the arrows shift. However, if you have a reverse mushroom, you can go backwards and straight up ignore board interactions, which is not only broken, but insanely good for repositioning yourself if you went away you didn't want to go. If you're right past a star location, close to a boo, or just need to go in the opposite direction, reverse mushroom has got you covered. You want to screw someone over from getting close to a certain location? Shit, you got it! Though they may end up in a better position, so be careful of that. Flexibility, versatility, repositioning, and cheap are all terms I'd use to describe some of the feats of this item. I only named a few scenarios, but it's truly insane how busted this item is when you fully utilize it to maximize your game. It's definitely worth the grab. Heck, even early game, I say it's still a very good purchase. That's gonna be it for today. Just wanted to do a short video while I'm still working on much bigger projects. If you like this style of content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you all think are some of the most busted items in Mario Party. Y'all know the vibes. I'll see y'all real soon. Q sign out.